Residents of major cities in Nigeria have been experiencing more than 72 hours of rain in the last few days, as earlier predicted by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency. Well, Nimet, which had also predicted between 96 to 310 days of rain across the country this year, has now placed an alert on the relevant government agencies as well as citizens over the imminent heavy and extended rainfall in some parts of the country. So the following states... Uh, will be having between August to October above normal rainfall. And these states are Sokoto, KB, Zamfara, Kastina, Kano, Njigawa, Pauchi, Yobe, most parts of Gombe, and Borno states. And last but not the least, the northern fringes of Adamawa states. And this is a very alarming situation. Nigeria in the last few years has been experiencing more rainfall, which sometimes leads to floods, with the worst occurring in 2012, where over 400 lives were lost and properties what billions of Naira got destroyed. And despite ample warning by the Meteorological Agency on the prevailing weather patterns, flooding still occurs due to blocked drainages or lack of proper channeling of waterways and canals. Nimet is calling for more collaboration. All the Nigerian socio-economic sectors are weather sensitive, whether agriculture, water resources, uh, health, construction, transportation, all the three forms of transportation, and, and uh, etc. So uh, this requires uh, uh, effective coordination coupled with the high deforestation activities, falling down of trees. So we have most of the river channels being silted up and this affects their own size. And uh, whenever there is inflow of uh, water runoff, so they tend to overflow easily uh, because the original depth has been affected. So uh, the missile link arise TV here is the response by, by citizens. And we also encourage that uh, state government should uh, please liars and align their activities. Uh, with, with, with our advisories. The effects of climate change are stark in Nigeria, including frequent massive floods. Experts are hoping that the early warning system by the Meteorological Agency will be taken seriously to save lives. Amaka Udewalka, Arise News.